Okay, in this lab, uh, we're going to learn how to verify the checksum of a file and also how to encrypt messages using PGP. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to download two applications. One is the checksum utility and the other one is uh, for PGP to encrypt messages. So I'll show you where to get those right now. Uh, go ahead and open a web browser and we'll download the um, checksum utility first. So we're going to go to this website, press enter, and then you're going to be given two different versions, one for a 32-bit computer and one for a 64-bit one. Since I'm running a 64-bit machine, I'm going to download the 64-bit version of the checksum utility. All right, so just download that. <clears throat> okay, so to get the program for uh, encrypting messages, we're going to use a version uh, called GPG for USB. Uh, to download that, just open a new tab and then go to this website here. Press enter. And the cool thing about this application is that it doesn't need to be installed on the machine. Uh, it can run off a USB drive or it can just run off of your desktop. All right, so you don't need to have admin privileges um, to install it and to run it. So you can run it from anywhere. All right, so let's go ahead and download this file. This is the latest version up here. So just click that. And we'll wait for this to download. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check the zip file um, using the checksum utility. And we're going to make sure that this number here is the one that's returned uh, when we run it through the, uh, the checksum utility application. Right, because just this file could be shared, it could be emailed, it could be downloaded from a different location. But as long as the checksum comes out the same, then you know it's the right application. Right, if this file had been modified in any way, let's say it has a virus or it has something else, it's not the right version, then the checksum would never come out to, to be the same. So that's why um, we're going to go ahead and do this, right, just to make sure that this is the right application. So then go back to your downloads folder here. And then before you extract this file, uh, let's go ahead and use the checksum utility first. So we'll extract uh, the CHK173 uh, first. So just double click on it. Hit extract all files. Hit extract. And then run the application. And then go to file, add files. And then now we'll put here uh, we'll select GPG for USB. All right, so go ahead and double click that. And here's the checksum. Right, so now we need to make sure that this number is exactly the same as the one provided by the website. All right, so let's go ahead and verify that. Right, and then we can see that it's the same number. This starts with 5, 5F78D5, and this is 5, 5F78D5. Right, so the number is exactly the same. So then we know that we downloaded the right version. Right, I mean, we got it from the website, and the website has the number already provided, but let's say you had downloaded this elsewhere, then this is how you would verify it. Okay, and then just to make sure that you completed the first part of the assignment, uh, we're going to go ahead and save a log file from the checksum utility. All right, so we can go to Save As, save it on your desktop, and then uh, by default it's called Checksums. Put your last name, 
and then go ahead and save this file. This file will be the one you submit for credit. All right, so we can verify what's uh, on here. So just double click on it. All right, and then it's just a log of what you checked. Okay, so now that you're done with this, we'll move on uh, to encrypting messages. Okay, so now to encrypt messages, uh, let's go ahead and extract the GPG for USB folder. So just double click on it, extract all. Okay, and then now uh, we'll go here to the application file. Uh, it's The icon is labeled Start Windows. So go ahead and double click on that. Go ahead and run. And then we'll have uh, we'll present it with the first uh, first start wizard, All right? So uh, we'll go ahead and go through this. So we'll leave uh, the language as the default. Hit next. Now, if you've never used GPG for USB before, and you don't have a GPG key, uh, we'll go to this first here. So uh, let's go ahead and create a new key pair. Click that. And then uh, we'll do create new key. All right, so here you'll put your name. Here you'll put your email address. expiration date you can just leave it um, you can just leave it like that for the password we'll do something simple like uh, one two three four one two three four and then hit OK now the key is being generated so just uh, give it a few minutes a few seconds hit OK Uh, we can uncheck this, and we can uncheck this as well. We don't need, we won't need the wizard again. <clears throat> the hit finish. Okay, so the next thing we're going to want to do is we want to export our key uh, to the clipboard, and then upload our public key to a key server. So that way somebody else can get our public key, encrypt the message, and then uh, email it to us. All right, so let me show you how to do that. Okay, so first of all, go to uh, Manage Keys. And then we'll have some options here. Uh, let's go ahead and export to Clipboard. That way it'll be copied for us then we're going to go to the key server website and then we're going to upload um, our public key uh, to that website so here just click on uh, export to clipboard <clears throat> okay okay so then now let's go to the web browser and uh, we're going to go to this website here http forward slash forward slash pgp dot mit dot edu okay so this is the website for the key uh, to import uh, public keys so now from here we can um, under submit a key we can paste right so this is going to be the uh, PGB public key block right so all this information um, will have the key in there okay so once that's pasted 
uh, go ahead and click the submit this key to the server button here. And then you should get a message back that the key was uploaded successfully. Okay, so now th uh, that you finished uploading your key, now the next thing we need to do is get a partner and that partner should have already uploaded their key to the key server right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find their key from the public server and import it into uh, the application so that way we can send them an encrypted message All right so let me show you how to do that All right so return uh, to GPG for USB and then here we'll click on import key from and then you have several options uh, your partner might have sent it to you in a file it might be already in your clipboard but in this case we all uploaded it to the key server right so then uh, go to key server and then now you can do a search and by default the f there's several key servers uh, the one we chose uh, to use was PGP Dot MIT dot edu. right so here you're gonna put your partner's name my partner uh, for this lab is gonna be Alice Jones right so I'm gonna type Alice Jones here uh, but you would type your partner's name instead right and then you do a search and then there might actually be several um, people with the same name um, so in, if that happens then just look for the latest one uh, this key was created on January the 10th of 2015 right so uh, that's pretty recent so this is the one we're gonna click on uh, to import so just click here press import and then we should get some feedback right so that was already uploaded or uh, imported excuse me okay and then hit close and then now your partner's uh, public key should now uh, be showing up in uh, under key management. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and close this out, right? And then now we have the key here. So now we're ready to uh, create a uh, an encrypted message, and we'll send that to Alice Jones or send that to your partner, right? So I'm just going to type something very simple. Uh, hello this is an encrypted message and then we'll select the uh, recipient uh, for this message All right so we'll have it as uh, Alice Jones here okay so then once uh, you have the key selected, um, the person you want to send it to, uh, then we'll go ahead and press the encrypt button. Right, so then now the message is encrypted. Okay, so uh, now we're going to save this file and we're going to email it to Alice Jones. Right, to do that you go to File, Save As, and by default it'll be called Untitled. Right, so we're going to want to name it encrypted encrypted message and then put your last name and then this file will email it and it will also be the file you submit um, as your assignment and then make sure uh, under save as type um, if you don't see .txt for text file uh, make sure then you uh, make sure to add the extension dot txt All right so that way um, the computer knows how to open the file right with the file extension so then just go ahead and uh, hit save and then if we verify the contents of the file uh, here it is now let's uh, go ahead and email this to Alice Jones or to your partner uh, so just go ahead and go to uh, Gmail or whatever email uh, you're using go to compose get your emails um, 
get your partner's email address. In this case, I'm going to send it to Alice Jones. Uh, secret message. And then uh, go to File Attachments. Uh, if you get any weird pop-ups, just um, hit Next. Uh, and here's the message. All right, so just go ahead and double click it. Okay, so now it's attached. Go ahead and send that off. Now the next thing I'll show you is once you receive your message or your text file, I'm going to show you how to decrypt it using uh, the application. Okay, so now assuming that your partner also sent you a message, uh, check your email and here I have an email from Alice Jones and I'm going to download her message and I'm going to decrypt it. Okay, so uh, just go to download. Okay, so once the message is downloaded, now we can decrypt it, right? So go back to the application, uh, go to file, open, uh, go to your downloads folder. Here's the message I downloaded from Alice. So double click it and it's in, it's encrypted so what we want to do is we want to decrypt this message right so we need to choose the key or we need to choose the private key to use to decrypt it right so the only private key I have here is the one for Bob Jones which is my own right uh, the key I have here for Alice Jones is the is the public one that won't uh, decrypt this message but my private key will Right, so we need to make sure we select Bob Jones. Uh, once that's selected, press the decrypt button. And then the password we had set earlier, um, we need to use that now. So that's going to be 1234. And then hit OK. And then now the message is decrypted. Hello, Bob. Here's a secret message for you, too. And then what we can do is we can save this file, save as, save it to the desktop, and um, we can just uh, relabel it as decrypted message. And then we can save that. Okay, so once you finish doing that, uh, the files you're going to need to upload are the encrypted message that you created yourself, uh, the checksum file from the earlier part of this assignment, and then the last part would be the decrypted message from your partner. You can upload all three of these and get credit.